At Gordon, I have fallen in love. No ring on my finger, just to clarify, but a heart full of people and places and books that four years has brought me. First, I fell in love with studying politics. I entered college with absolutely zero interest in the subject, but since it was a presidential election year and I wanted to fulfill a core requirement, I enrolled in American national politics during my first semester at Gordon. I sat in class every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in Jenks 212 with my purple notebook and mechanical pencil in a state of fascination and terror. I felt out of place with these politics majors who would say things in class that seemed so brilliant and foreign to me. And my professor talked about ideas I had never heard of before. Things like pluralism and liberalism and sphere sovereignty. But something happened to me in that class. I, it didn't make my decision for the election, but it convinced me that studying politics was something that I wanted to do. So the following spring, I took a leap of faith and marched my nervous feet to the registrar's office to declare my major. And for the next three years, I learned about constitutional law, the Middle East, the influence of religion on international affairs, and what Plato was actually talking about in his Republic. I wrote papers that I, at many points along the journey, wanted to rip apart out of frustration and exhaustion, but each of those papers taught me that political systems matter and that sitting them prompts me to think about how to pursue justice and peace in a broken world. I also fell in love with Boston and New England. I became completely captured by the colors of fall and couldn't keep my running shoes away from the woods in September and October. I have come to appreciate the little pieces of New England that make it seem more like home to me. The candles in the windows at Christmas, the church buildings with steeples, the ice cream shops by the beach. And then there's Boston. I learned to love the rhythm of the commuter rail, the accent I hear as I stroll the city streets. I loved walking through the common in springtime or just driving into the city at night and walking through the rain, staring up at the sparkling city lights. I fell in love with speaking Spanish. Before college, learning Spanish was just a part of fulfilling the foreign language requirement. But after a trip to Guatemala and a semester in Spanish 102 at 8 a.m. nonetheless, it grew into an interest I wanted to pursue and led me to study abroad in a different part of the world. While abroad, I became Elisa instead of Alyssa. I learned about the language, culture, suffering, and beauty of Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Cuba. And through conversations about theology and poverty, political systems and culture, through tears, language mistakes, laughter, cultural confusions, and so many meals of rice, beans, and platanos, I discovered that I love a different language and I love learning from the Latin Americans who speak it with me. I fell in love with people. Relationships happened as we ran together along Grapevine or laughed on the floor of our apartment after a long day or borrowed each other's dresses for Gordon Globes or cried together as we shared disappointment, heartache, and fear. When I entered college, I thought I was independent. But as each year passed, I realized how dependent I was on these relationships and how these relationships helped me grow and love more deeply. Relationships also inspired me to learn more deeply. I found myself very accustomed to the steep walk up to the third floor of Frost during faculty office hours and would arrive always out of breath and just spill out a hundred questions spinning in my head to one of my professors. And surprisingly, they would listen. They would always listen no matter how many times I bothered them or asked for just one more explanation of what this crazy philosopher was talking about. I fell in love with the process of learning where I am able to ask the hard questions to people who don't run away from me, but embrace me in their office with an open chair, a crowded bookshelf, piles of papers, and sincere ears to listen. At Gordon, I've also learned that this process of loving is the hardest thing I'll ever do. Relationships expose parts of ourselves you wish you could hide. Discovering new places oftentimes takes you away from the people you love. And studying the world challenges the worldview you've held all your life and poses questions you don't want to answer. Falling in love also means you are called to bear the responsibility of caring for more people and places, more areas of study. 
Your heart gets bigger as you open yourself to the new adventures and places, experiences. But the ache grows too. But I have found that the more I fall in love, the more I experience joy, peace, and hope. This transition from Gordon brings with it many questions and uncertainties. And I am clinging to that joy, peace, and hope that I have learned through four years of classes, experiences, assignments, and genuine relationships. I hope that these four years prompt me to live my life in a way where I am always falling in love. Thank you. <laughs>